Rick Rennell, uh, who uh, is a, a, a Californian, and uh, there's a lot of benefits to that. The, the indoor-outdoor living, the, 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 the climate, uh, the ocean, of course. A special advisor to the ACLJ, former Trump uh, cabinet member, is joining us now because he is in a state in California which has got some of the most serious lockdowns that have, that have been occurred and threats. I mean, Rick, uh, th- thanks for joining us and, and a happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Uh, let me first ask you about this with, with the, the way Gavin Newsom and the California government has approached this is like threatening people with, with, with arrest if they get together with their family uh, to celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah, first of all, let me just say to all our listeners and to you, Jordan, and your whole family, happy Thanksgiving. What a great uh, week to really be thankful for so much that we have and to be really, I think, cognizant of the fact that living in America uh, gives us incredible freedoms. But um, some of our freedoms are under attack. And I think this is a week that we have to really focus on uh, what is important for individual freedom and what do we need to do to push back? I mean, ACLJ, right, is exists to, to fight for individuals' freedoms when governments, local, state, federal government begins to take away some of those freedoms. And this is exactly what we're talking about this week with our governor in California, Gavin Newsom. Uh, what I don't understand is the, the hypocrisy of all of these decisions that are being made. Let me give you one example. Uh, Los Angeles International Airport, San Francisco International Airport, San Diego Airport, all of the airports are open. And you're going to tell me that putting 200 people on an airplane, 200 people that you don't know, is safer than having 15 of your family members come to your house that you do know for Thanksgiving. This is the inconsistency of the decisions of governors like Gavin Newsom. And you know, we all know, and we've been laughing about it, but it's actually quite serious that Gavin Newsom has been caught a number of times lying about what he's doing while he's finger waving at the California uh, public to you know, not go to restaurants, not be uh, around people without face masks, and yet he's been caught at fancy restaurants inside, indoors with a lobbyist. I mean, this is there's multiple layers to this this hypocrisy story. It's not just that he broke the COVID rules that he's telling everybody else to 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 follow. It's he literally said it was a friend's birthday party, and now we're finding out that it, uh, it was a lobbyist. Who actually uh, did the, the did the dinner? Did any reporter in Sacramento ask who paid for that? Did a lobbyist pay for this big fancy French laundry dinner? Um, there's just so much hypocrisy to, yeah. to dial back, and I think people are left with wanting to see their family, wanting to be smart about these COVID restrictions. No one is going to uh, put their family at risk if they if they think that sure. someone sick or you've got the flu. I mean, I think everybody is smart enough and we're, we're adults enough to understand that you've got to be smart on these restrictions. But having a governor just, you know, allow uh, everyone to go to Target and Walmart, but not to church and to right. say air, airlines get to be open and you can jam pack hundreds of people that you don't know on an airplane, but you can't have 15 people for Thanksgiving. This is ridiculous. And this all started with me, uh, I think, Rick, too, when we saw the start to see the hypocrisy. It, and you talked about it a lot with Nancy Pelosi going into the hair salon unmasked. I mean, anytime I've had to get my hair cut, I live in one of the more open states in the country, uh, a deep red state, which has not had a lot of the the most severe uh, closure mandates since early on. And yet still, I mean, if I go get my hair cut, that's like, it's like going to the doctor's office. I mean, your mask is on, you're, you do not, it is a very serious process to go through and, uh, and, and timely to keep those businesses open. And, and yet Nancy Pelosi was flouting these rules since the very beginning. It's always been like a, well, this is the rules for the common people, but for the elected folk uh, on the Democrat side, they don't need to follow the, 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 uh, the rules for the common man. You know, I actually think on the Nancy Pelosi angle, too, there's there's one more outrage that people forget, which is that after she got caught, she literally looked at the salon owner 
And she snapped at the person and said, you owe me an apology. Now, now think about that. This, this insider in Washington, D.C. is telling a small business owner that you owe me an apology. And if you take that to the next level, the reason why the Speaker of the House, the powerful uh, person in Washington, D.C., is, is demanding that a small business owner give an apology, it's because this small business owner called her out for being a hypocrite, embarrassed her. And that's not what you're supposed to do to Washington politicians. You're never supposed to embarrass them because they create the rules and you're supposed to follow the rules. So I, I really believe that we're getting to this system and, and it's a good time to, to focus on the problems of, of COVID lockdowns during Thanksgiving week when we're gathering with our families and we're thinking about uh, how thankful we are to live in this country, to also remember that we have a personal responsibility to fight back when government makes decisions uh, that, that really take away our personal freedoms, we have to fight back. And I'm so thankful for ACLJ and other organizations that help us fight back. You know, and we, we can all be smart. Like you said, Rick, if, if you're feeling sick, if you feel like you've got the flu, but maybe you don't have time to get a COVID test, we've all been through this now for a long enough period of time that it would be reckless to go to your grandma's you know, or, or to someone's house that may have a, a disease that they're fighting and uh, maybe they're, they're battling cancer. Okay, so you're not, you shouldn't go there. But I think that people have been educated enough by the, the Trump administration, by the all the briefings that we've had to be able to make those decisions on their own in a, in a country where we have this kind of individual liberty, where we make those kind of choices uh, about the risk that we're willing to take or not take. And I think for the most part, I am glad to see, Rick, that there's a lot of sheriffs out there in California. And this is not just happening in California, by the way, but Rick is living it in California. But a lot of sheriff's departments who said, you know, we're not going to monitor these these uh, these curfews of 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And we're going to we're not going to stop people and say, are you should you be out right now? Is it because you're going to work or not? We're not going to do that. So uh, that's good. But I mean, there is this fear because we're seeing it in Europe. Uh, where there's going to be like people going through and they're planning to do it during Christmas, knocking on doors, checking out, you know, how many people you have at your house. Look, I think we got to be science based. You got to follow the science. And it's certainly silly to think that the science suggests that after 10 o'clock, somehow COVID gets, you know, more, more contagious. Yeah. Um, it's just these rules don't make sense. This is a power grab from Democratic politicians governors like Gavin Newsom, uh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say, Jordan, that uh, we do have a recall Gavin Newsom effort. Uh, it's recallgavin2020.com. If you live in California, sign yeah. the petition yeah. and recall this guy. We've got a lot of California listeners. It's probably one of our biggest state with the most stations. So uh, again, uh, check that website out. Rick, thanks for joining us. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Support our matching challenge at aclj.org.